in the in this next section we are going to go over the carrier packet so what's a carrier packet well a carrier packet is a reference to a broker uh, Carrier packet is a reference to a broker's application as well as the items needed to submit with the application in order to start hauling for that broker. You as a carrier can be ready with your part of the carrier packet. This way, when you want to sign up, uh, when, to, when you want to sign up a broker with the broker, excuse me, you will have all the items you need and won't waste any of their time. At times, the broker might not have their, their packet to provide uh, for you, but you can look professional by sending your items to them. So you can have your part of the carrier packet uh, ready. So in, in short, the carrier packet is the paperwork you'll need for the brokers. And actually, um, uh, it was named the carrier packet from the brokers. And what they do is they have a carrier packet for you, which basically um, is their application to sign up with them. And on the application after, uh, on the application somewhere it says, and by the way, I need this, this, and this, and that. And so we're going to go over the this, 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 and that that you should always have ready to go um, with the profile page. So let's go ahead and, and get started. So the first one is uh, the document you should have is a profile cover letter. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean. This is super important to stand out. Like you shouldn't just send here's my W-2 and everything in like a stack paper and, you know, email it over to them. Uh, you should always have a profile cover letter. Um, and I'll go over it uh, that speaks about your company. And the reason you want to do this is so that you can stand out. Everybody else is just saying this carrier packet and they're not really talking about them. They're not presenting themselves. Uh, they're not telling the brokers what they can do. They're really wasting some, uh, they're really wasting uh, efforts here and not uh, taking the extra step to market themselves properly so that they can stand out. And I'll show you what I mean when that, when I go over the, the profile uh, cover letter. So this is a cover letter that goes in front, of, in, fr in front of all your items that just talks about your company and you so it can help you stand out. And I'll go over it in a little bit. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is your MC Authority Certificate Letter. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to show you guys what all these documents look like. So the MC Authority Certificate Letter, uh, you obtain this by mail once your MC becomes active. And you can also order it online for around like $30. Uh, so uh, you have to wait about seven business days for you to get this MC authority letter after your uh, MC is active. But if you Google MC authority certificate letter purchase, um, you should be able to find plenty of companies that you can actually buy it same day. They vary in prices. shouldn't be any higher than $30. Maybe you'll find something in the $20 range. Uh, then you'll need your, uh, your completed W-9. And so you guys, you want to have this ready already. Somewhere where you can just, if you speak to a broker, yeah, I got it, email it over to them, okay? So W-9 already filled out, current for the year, so you always want to update it every year. Uh, certificate of insurance, you're going to get this from your insurance company. You should have a default one that you can send at any time. However, most brokers want to be listed as a certificate holder. Uh, they'll provide the necessary requirements for insurance when you sign up. So when you sign up with them, they'll say, I need a million this, a million that. It's all about the same thing uh, as far as for brokers. It's unless you're doing some sort of special loads, um, even auto hauling, they can request a little bit more. Um, if you're working with UIIA, besides that, it's all about the same, uh, but there are some that require additional insurance coverages to work with that broker. So just know that. Okay. Let me show you guys. Uh, oh, and lastly, a voided check. Uh, they may, um, sometimes they say, where, do, where are we going to send your payment to? And you'll say, oh, send it to this account number. And they'll say, give me a voided check so we make sure that that really is you. So you want to have that ready. No point in wasting time. As part as your carrier packet, um, send out a voided check on the, on the letterhead. I'm going to show you guys that. Where it has your routing account number, it says, please make our payments here. So let's go over the first part, which is going to be the uh, profile page. Okay, now I have a template for you guys where you can just... Uh, fill this in and add your logo on the top. All the templates that I have, you can add your logo. So you can add your logo on the top, put your address, put your MC number, your phone number, your email address, and your company website. Okay. Um, and basically, you can go ahead and copy this word for uh, word for word. So uh, over here we have, uh, thank you for your time from Oscar's Trucking Company. We are a small, independent, independently owned trucking business that specializes in, in trans transporting LTA cargo for low, vo uh, for low volume, small to medium sized shippers. I've outlined a few ways, and they're going to put here your trucking company. So Oscar's Trucking Company would go here. Can increase your company's profitability. I'm available. Uh, so here, here's some ways. So I'm available Monday through Sunday to start my weekly loads. Professional route planners. We know how to work our way around dead ends. Provide feedback as much as possible to make your job easier. 
able to work holidays. You guys, this is just an example. And I'm, and, and when, when a broker sees this, you know, you're going to stand out from other people that aren't sending this. And you're telling them more about yourself without having to get on the phone and bother them. Instead, they look at this and they're like, oh man, okay, they work holidays. Okay, I'm loaded around holiday time. To give you an example of, of how they can take this. Um, next part, we take care of your shipping like it's ours. We do so by allowing applications for GPS tracking. Verification of pickup includes photos. Schedule, schedule daily check-ins with calls and texts. Verification of deliveries, include, in, we include photos. Immediate notification of the results and status upon delivery. So they're like, oh, cool. So they're okay with me checking in on them. They're okay with sending text messages. Like the, in other words, you're letting the broker know just from your cover page what you're okay with and what, you, um, what you're willing to do uh, in order to work with them. That way he's not second guessing himself whether someone can do it or not. They're like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna work with this person, I'm working Monday through Friday, they're working on the holidays, they allow us to put our app to track them and they're willing to go ahead and uh, provide me feedback, awesome. Uh, we, go the ex, uh, we go the extra mile to ensure your goods are delivered on time, in good condition, with no problems. You're just doing a little advertising right there. Uh, we provide competitive LTL and FTL rates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, while maintaining high level of quality. Okay, give us a call today to ship your loads. Call, put your number. Okay, what we can help you with LTL, truckload, dry van, flatbed, reefer. Once again, thank you for your time and I look forward to talking to you. You guys, this is just an example. Feel free to delete, add however you want, however you want to. Um, uh, cut it down by half ways, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that you have a cover page when you're sending in your, your, your motor carrier packet over to the broker or shipper. You wanna make sure that you include this so that they, it just helps you stand out. It's marketing, guys. This is really marketing. Um, and you're just one step ahead of the person that's not doing this. And it's actually common not to do this, just so you know, people just send the blah, 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 blah. Here's your W-9, here's a certificate of authority letter. Um, and that's that. This alone is gonna help you stand out. Okay, moving on to the next part. So that's how your MC authority letter looks. It's something like that, or your, your certificate of authority. Okay. Then you're gonna need uh, your W-9. We all know what that looks like. There's your W-9. You're gonna need certificate of insurance. Um, uh, Being Progressive is one of the largest uh, insurance agencies. They have their own certificate of insurance. That works about 80% of the time, 20% of the time, brokers like this, what's called an accord form certificate of insurance. Okay, but for the most part, They'll take any, it's just sometimes it's, they, they, they require this specific form and it's no problem. The insurance companies can get that for you, no problem, okay? And lastly, a voided check. So you can see here I put, uh, again, under my letterhead, and you guys have these templates, by the way. Any templates that I have, you guys have them as well. So this is so you'll have a copy, put your information in here. So right here it says, please make, please make all payments deposits to the account and routing number listed below, bank name, Bank of America, account holder, Oscars Trucking Company, account routing number 135789, and routing number 000, and here's a copy of the voided check. And you're just being proactive. You're being proactive. Um, we'll get into the marketing section, but uh, or we'll go over this, this topic in the marketing section, but you want to have this ready, so anytime um, you meet with the broker, you speak with the broker, send it. You meet with them on LinkedIn, send it. Your, 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 your cover page will explain who you are, and uh, what you will do, why, why they should work with you, and what you're uh, willing to do to get the job done in, in a good way, of course. So carrier packet is something you want to have complete so that you can hand it off at any time. Uh, this is a simple one, guys. I hope this was very helpful. Uh, this is something that you can start getting together now. Uh, no need to wait on it. And again, if, if you guys remember uh, one of the seven traits, one of the top traits is actually when I'm talking about signing up with 20 plus brokers, you're giving these carrier packets out and you're getting their, their other part of the carrier packet. So here's what happens. Basically, you, the only reason you would send them this is because you don't have theirs yet. So you send them, you send them oh, you spoke to so-and-so broker, okay, here's my carrier packet. But they're still gonna send you something. So on top of the stuff you're gonna send for, the brokers may ask for a copy of, of a CDL for the driver working with their loads, okay? The front and the back. So have that ready as well. In fact, have that in your carrier packet. They may ask for an equipment list. Um, in, in, in one of the sections I talk about equipment lists, I have a template equi uh, equipment list ready for you. You can use that. Have that ready as well. And most shippers will ask you to fill out an additional document to get information about your company, such as the trucks you have, 
uh, the region, states you are willing to travel, MC number, DOT number, and a few other business details. Even though this is already in, in your carrier packet, they have their own basically, um, if you want to look at it as job application, you know, working with the broker, they have their own application that you have to fill out. You get that application, you, f you fill it out, you sign it, and you send it in with your carrier packet. And that's, and that, that's pretty much a completed uh, carrier packet. So you guys, just to do a recap real quick, it's just a couple of things um, that you want to have is going to be your profile cover letter, your MC authority certificate letter, um, your W-9, your certificate of insurance, voided check, and just in case you also want to have a copy of the CDL for the drivers that are going to be working with the brokers, the, the front and the back, and an equipment list. Okay, so carry packet, uh, fairly simple. I hope you guys like this one. I will see you guys on the next one.